In this video, we will look at solving simple absolute value inequalities. As we do, we must remember that absolute value is simply the distance from 0. Let's play with this idea of distance as we look at some examples. Consider the absolute value of x is less than 2. That means the distance from 0 on this number line that's acceptable is anything less than 2. The obvious area is anything from 0 to 2 would be a distance of less than 2. But similarly, on the other side, you'll notice that at negative 2, back toward 0, those points also have a distance of less than 2. Well, we've seen this type of inequality before. This is simply a tripartite or three-part inequality. Negative 2 is less than x, which is less than 2. We'll see this as we set up our problems, that when the absolute value is less than a number, we will always set up a tripartite inequality. Let's consider, though, what happens when the absolute value is greater than a number. Now, we want the distance to be greater than 2 which means from 2, we want our distance to go out, or to be more than 2, going off to the right. Similarly, at negative 2 on down, you'll notice those distances from 0 are also greater than 2. Well, again, we've seen a compound inequality that makes a graph that looks like this. The compound inequality here is an OR. We would say x is less than the negative value, or x is greater than the positive value. We will use this pattern also when the absolute value is greater, we will set up an OR. A nice way to remind us that greater uses an OR is the word greater ends with the word or, let's see if we can set up some compound inequalities to help us get a grasp on what's happening with some problems. In this first problem, we see the absolute value of x is greater, opening up to the x, greater than 8. This means the compound inequality must be in OR. We make x less than the negative value, or equal to, matching the problem, or the x must be greater than, or equal to, the positive value. On a graph, we could see the same pattern we saw before, from x going greater, 8 greater, or negative 8 less. All those points have a distance of le of more than 8. In interval notation, negative infinity... Oops, we should be using closed dots because we're OR equal to. Sorry about that. So from negative infinity, we go to negative 8 with a square bracket, union to show there's a second part, and then from 8 up to infinity. Let's take a look at another problem, where we have to decide what type of compound inequality to set up. Here, we see the absolute value of x is less than 5. With less, we need to set up a tripartite inequality, or equal to matching the graph. Putting the negative on the left and the positive on the right, x is between negative 5 and 5. So this means on the graph, we can see with closed circles at negative 5 and 5, because it's OR equal to, the x is going to be somewhere in between. So the distance, or absolute value, is less than 5. In interval notation, square brackets to show OR equal to from negative 5 to 5. When the absolute value is greater, set up an OR. The absolute value is less, set up a tripartite inequality.